Good morning and welcome to this uh, morning prayer service on Wednesday and um, yeah it's, it's great to be with you. I hope you um, were able to join us on Sunday uh, at Four Father's Day uh, and a few thoughts there and um, yeah today uh, a little bit more of a stripped down service uh, just a chance for me and you to pray together this morning just to start our day uh, the right way. Uh, so please excuse the casual nature, but uh, this is how I do pray. I don't dress up uh, uh, with my dog collar on just to say my prayers in the morning. Uh, so I hope that's okay with you. Uh, so um, let's begin. You should have an order of service uh, that's available on the website or has come through uh, from the email from Shirley. And um, then we don't need anything else other than just to have a moment's quiet and... Uh, bring ourselves before the Lord. Let's pray. O Lord, open our lips, we say together, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation, to you be praise and glory forever, as once you ransomed your people in Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now have you delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your dear Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day that you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. We say together, blessed be God forever. So the night has passed and this wonderful day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So our psalm today is Psalm 85. If you want to follow it in the Bible or on your uh, order of service, it's going to be from the uh, New Revised Standard Version. Uh, and it's from verse 7 to the end. It's quite short. Show us your unfailing love, Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what God the Lord says. He promises peace to his people, his faithful servants, but let them not turn to folly. Surely his salvation is near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Love and faithfulness meet together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Faithfulness springs from the earth and righteousness looks down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give what is good and our land will yield its harvest. Righteousness goes before him and prepares the way for his steps. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Uh, yeah, what a few weeks it's been again. Um, we have seemed to have jettisoned so much of all this care that we've had uh, for preserving uh, human life into the pendulum swing of like, you know, we must stay in and, and, and what, at all costs we must protect the NHS, protect life. Now, with the pendulum swung completely onto the other track, uh, we now need to um, protect the economy. Spend, spend, spend. Go to the shops. Two metres. Now one metre. Uh, or that's the rhetoric. Um, uh, air corridors. Let's just go, go, go. Let's. I'm thinking, do you know, and I've looked at some of these raves, um, you, you've seen stuff where people have just gone from careful to carefree, to be free of care and to just jettison so much of what we've learned. There's even talk 
about um, the potential for Sunday trading to be relaxed so that, you know, to, to, for the economy to catch up so that basically we can go from um, um, having a, a steady day on the Sabbath to um, a full day. And it seems to me that this is absolute folly um, and that we, we, we've moved from being really sensible thinking, oh, we've learned a lot, so much rhetoric around people going, oh, isn't it nice to be relaxed? Oh, can't you see that nature is catching up? Um, you know, I understand we need jobs. I understand that people have livelihoods, but cheap fashion houses, uh, just churning out tons and tons of stuff. We don't actually probably need more, just want. We knew that there was an ecological crisis on our doorstep uh, before this. And yet somehow this all now seems to be, I don't know, um, forgotten for money. Now, I'm not saying that cheaply because I understand people, like I said, that have livelihoods. But we have got to be careful. I think as Christians, we need to be uh, standing up for, well, like I was saying on, on Sunday, standing up for what is right. Uh, not being popular necessarily, but people need Sabbath. The world needs rest. Do we need to have the shops open every minute of every day? Do we need to be um, pinging off everywhere on holiday um, in, 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 in large and expensive aircraft and cruise ships um, as much as we were? Was there a sense that maybe we should be... Um, reeling things in a bit and taking stock and care of each other and care of our world. Careful, carefree, caring. We need to be in that middle area to be mindful of being careful, to be mindful of being uh, carefree because that's important too but we need to be caring as I've said before and um, yeah let them not turn to folly. I think for me the prayer this morning is is that the government will advise and that people will want to be caring for each other, for the economy, for mental health, for physical health and of course for the planet and the beautiful creation that we, um, that we reside in and we're supposed to be good stewards of. Um, and then we get that promise at the end. The Lord will indeed give what is good and our land will yield its harvest. We don't need to pillage society, people and the land for profit. Amen. We're going to sing uh, now. Uh, we're going to, uh, uh, Andrew's going to lead us again in that song that we sang on uh, on Sunday because I still think we've got that link um, as the deer pants for the water as so my soul longs after you uh, God's ways are the right folks uh, we know that they're right and uh, Sabbath principle is key uh, rest is key for the world and um, let's let's hunger f f for that teaching let's hunger for that to be a reality and not just be indifferent to it and, and, and just let the world go ahead. Let's make our choices uh, and make them sensible and make them heard in a loving way. But um, as the deer pants for the water. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield, to you alone may my spirit Only you can satisfy. 
is fine. You alone are the real joy giver and the apple of my eye. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire. so much more than anything. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you. Thanks again, Andrew. Lovely to sing those words with you and uh, what a wonderful song of balance and of care and of love. Okay, we come now to a time of prayer. Let us pray. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, give skill and sympathy and resilience for all those caring for the sick and for the economy, and your wisdom to those searching for a cure Strengthen them with your spirit, that they, through their work, may be restored to health, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Say together that lovely, resilient prayer. We are not a people of fear. We are a people of courage. We are not people who protect our own safety. We are people who protect our neighbour's safety. We are not people of greed. I am into that. We are people of generosity. We are your people, God, giving and loving. Wherever we are, whatever it costs, for as long as it takes, wherever you call us. Be thou our vision. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, then let's pray again together, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And deliver us not from evil. Oh, sorry, deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. As that prayer has just read, it just struck me, I'm sorry I went off it a, a, a little bit there. Um, it just, you know, the world is God's, isn't it? Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It's God's earth, not ours. And he knows how it best to be ruled. He's laid that down. I hope that our leaders will listen. And it's up to us to make them listen, I think. Um, to do our bit. If I can urge you to do your bit by maybe uh, keeping away from shops. Unless absolutely necessary on Sundays. Maybe just thinking about how we uh, go about our lives. As, as, as not, not, to, not to interfere with others but as a way of setting a standard because we will need to answer to God one day for how we did live our life and I 
I want us to be able to stand there in confidence saying we did it Lord as best as we could as you taught it. Whether others listen is just not in our, uh, our, our, our scheme. But do have a good week. Be bold, be brave. And um, yeah, and may the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Lovely to see you again and thanks for joining me and um, we will um, if uh, do in terms of church opening uh, we, we, we've got the church open for private prayer at, 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 um, at the times that are on the website and will be on your sheet. I think there's no other notices other than that. We just need you to be uh, patient with the use of the building. We're only really allowed to clean or we've got to clean it well so we can only allow access to a very sort of small, small area. Uh, but at least if that really helps you, then do come down at those times. Uh, be prepared to be patient if there are other people ahead of you. Um, but uh, yeah, God bless you. Have a good week and uh, see you soon. Bye.